Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's Saturday, about quarter past 11. Uh, I cleaned up the studio and I'm ready to go. This is the updated list, July 2018. I'd like to thank everyone for sponsoring my channel. And as I always say, love you all to pieces. Okay, guys, now, this was Drony. This is the one that disappeared and it is the one that I waited for uh, to come from China. It took six weeks, had to pay uh, a lot of uh, money to get it imported. And um, yeah, it was, uh, it was kind of funny. This is the uh, remote. As you can see, it has a takeoff and a land button and it has a stop. And it has here, it has the home button. When you press it, that it has to come home and a lot of stuff uh, on it, but it just did not really work. It When I pushed up, it, it took off. It went up, 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 up about, I don't know, I think beyond the distance that the um, that this control pad can do. And all of a sudden it just took off. So this afternoon, I'm gonna make a video of the exact same flight path that this one took. And I'm hoping that you guys will uh, help me um, go through the footage and see if you can find my drone. So um, that's what we're going to do this afternoon, uh, pretty much later this evening. So uh, when we have less sun, because it was black, and I think um, if we go over the grass, we might just uh, see it. So this one, $50, well, euros, and then again, the additional costs to uh, get it imported. But it, it it's it's really just a piece of it's a toy. I was I, was, I wasn't gonna say a piece of crap. No, it's just a toy. So for uh, kids that you know have somewhere to fly it, uh, it might be a good thing. <clears throat> but other than that, it for me it didn't work. Now the other one. That's this one. This is Mr. Sparky. This one works. And I had a lot of comments on my video about people um, saying, oh, I want one of those. And I'm, I'm, I'm really, um, I'm really surprised at the, uh, the clearness of the video and all that kind of stuff. Well, this is a sort of a, what would I say? Not the cheapest, but it's more like the lower where you get into drones. So it's called spark fly more combo and I'll explain the difference between a normal spark and the fly more combo. This one comes with the remote. And if you buy just a spark, you don't get the remote. So you have to download an app on your phone and you can um, manage everything that you do on here with your phone, but it's just a little bit trickier. So um, this one, this remote, what it has is has the uh, little antennas. Then you open this up and you can put your phone in here, slide it right in. So you see exactly what the drone is seeing and that comes in real handy. And you know, you just absolutely know where you're flying. It shows the distance. It shows the height. It shows the speed it's flying. It maps out a, a little uh, GPS thing on a map. So if you were to lose it, you'll see where it, you know, drops off the map. So uh, this one is so much more sophisticated and um, just by holding it, you can just feel how much more quality there is in this drone. Oh, now I forgot to get the drone. Okay. Well, um, that's the, uh, this is the uh, controller. So that works well. You, it comes in a little box like this. As you can see, the drone was in here. Yes, they are really small. They fit in the palm of your hand. So this is what's, uh, how it comes in the box. Then because of the fly more combo, you get a nice little carrying uh, bag where you can put everything in, as you can see, keep it all together. You get two batteries. This is battery number one, and this is battery number two. So you get two batteries and you really need two batteries. Don't go for one battery because when it's, um, done it's done and then you have to wait for it to charge back up 
Then you get a charging hub with a transform thing. So you get a whole transforming charging hub. So you just slide these batteries on here and they start to load. Then on the same thing, on the hub, you have a, um, a cable. And this one connects to the controller because the controller doesn't run on batteries, which I really like. You plug it in here and you load the controller. So when everything's loaded up, you're all ready to go. Now I forgot to get my little drone, so I'm going to go get it and I'll paste these two videos together, no problem. So we're back. This is the drone. As you can see, the little propellers. This is the drone. It's this big, really nice and small. I do have the uh, propeller guards on because uh, I'm not that good at flying yet, but in a bit I'll take them off. And then you can just fold up these little propeller things like that. And you fold the little arms in and then it's really just a small drone that you can take with you on vacation and you can do all sorts of stuff with. It really doesn't take up much room in a suitcase. And then when you want to fly you just fold them back out and they uh, they work. So these guards are really uh, easy. Here's the bottom of the drone. Here you can see the camera. Here's the infrared something. I don't know what that is but it works. But here's the uh, little gimbal camera. And um, I know that some of you commented on how smooth the uh, video is. But when you put it on, let me turn it on. I hope it doesn't fly away. Now it's on. And as you can see, the, gi the gimbal is in place. And it's really, it just keeps its um, balance. And it makes sure that all your video isn't jittery. See it's flashing its little lights. Yesterday I tried to launch it from uh, from my hand and I think I had my fingers up here and it really that really hurt so you got to be careful about that. So I'll turn it off again. To turn it on or off you press this button and you press it once then you press it for another three seconds and it turns on. Now here you have this little um, latch and you can load the battery that's on the drone with the same cable that I um, load the, uh, the controller. And here on the side that little small thingy there that is to put in your um, memory card so you can uh, make the video. And all in all this one really really listens to directions so I really like that. Um, on the controller, furthermore, you just have the home button, as you can see here. This is on and off. Here you have a pause button, a sports mode button. You have the function. On the back, you have this little slider that makes the camera go up and down. You That one, I don't know. Uh, this one is to record the video. And then here you can do it to take a picture. But what this little fella also does is it, um, it responds to gestures with your hand. So if you do, let's see, like this, then it takes a picture and uh, you can do all sorts of stuff. But uh, you can read that online. There's a lot of things you can do like that. Then it flies away from you and let it come back and you can land it on your hand and all kinds of stuff. But I don't have the gesture thing um, clicked on so I'll be um, practicing with that maybe uh, tomorrow but overall um, what I did was I, I just thought I'd buy a really cheap um, cheap drone just to you know practice a little bit but as I um, expected and that's what my husband said when I lost it he said why didn't you just buy a, a normal drone a good one because you know <laughs> You can't expect anything from a drone 50 euros. That's just not the case. So uh, today I'm going to see if I can fly it up even higher. The highest I went yesterday was 100 meters. So I'm going to try to go up higher than that. Um, what is 100 meters? That would be like uh, 900 foot, something like that. But I'll uh, try to take it up higher. 
and uh, that's that'll give you a even better view than you had yesterday but if you're serious about buying one of these this is the one i'd go for one up is called the mavic and uh, they are i think three or four hundred euros uh, more expensive and then you go up one more that is the uh the pro um phantom it's called and they're all from dgi so that's the uh, brand that i have read the most about i've read a, a really a lot of reviews here it is fly more combo dgi i've read a lot of uh, uh reviews and everyone's pretty much uh, happy about this drone and everything that comes from dgi so i'm not getting paid by dgi so don't think that this is just an honest opinion um, from experience from flying a really cheap drone to going to the uh, more professional one so um if you are uh, are really wild about those videos that uh, you saw and you'd like to experience that this is the way to go and i would absolutely uh, not bother with the the cheaper things that come from china although this one comes from china too but they did a good job on this one so uh, i guess it's because this is uh you know more expensive so they can do uh, more uh, quality stuff they can use more quality materials and it shows so guys i'm going to uh just uh put this one on youtube as is without uh me pouring acrylics because i thought because i had so many comments of people saying i want one i'm gonna buy one i'll put a link under this video where you can find um, the DGI website and you can do some research for yourself and uh, that'll be good. Okay guys, so thanks for watching. Love you all to pieces and I will fly it uh, this afternoon. Okay, see you laters.